Haven't done this in a minute. Jam, Jam on toast. Hi guys, welcome to the Jam. Cam right there. So today the toast is to Karis, the prophecy, and Karis, the revelation. This is week 24 of Hashtag We Are Movie Club. This week's pick was Neil. Neil kind of cheated because he's one of our anime guys and he watches animated films. He took uh, a pick for Cars, which is technically a series. Uh, six episodes. OVA, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't know the rules for that. But they were later compiled into two movies, three episodes each, and they worked really well for that. I've watched a lot of anime series, and I've watched anime movies, and I've watched OVAs, whatever the difference really is. But these really worked well. I couldn't even tell where the episodes really began or end the way they cut it as movies. And so I, I gotta give it to Neil. The short sell this one is that the city is a habitat for demons. Occasionally these demons get out of control and there is a protector of the city called Karis that activates and defends the city, especially against these rogue demons. But I love it for this one. Normally I think I would hate this, but there's a scene where he's talking to this street girl handing out flyers and she asks him if he's gay. And it's just so out of place in this serious situation that I had to laugh at it uh, because immediately she writes it off as if, no, oh, it's okay. So we have like this weird little like uh, sexual equality affirmation bit in the middle of the movie, which I can't imagine was in the original Japanese version. My hate it for this, and this happens a lot in vampire movies too, uh, is the blood splatter. Why? Why would you like take your food and just do this and like spray it all over the wall? The blood is their life force. Yeah, they're gonna grab another human if they're hungry later, but it's the equivalent of taking like spaghetti and just whoosh, and then you got like this big splatter of sauce on the wall. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's really gluttonous and maybe they're, it's supposed to be like that to A, shock the audience and B, to show that sloth and gov gluttony of evil. Ooh. The MVP of this was definitely the doctor car. So not only was he like actually helping the demon community, like the ones who were staying in line, but he jumped out there and got uh, online to defend the people. Even the jerks uh, that were trying to shoot him and the, the demons he was protecting at the end, that was really kind of a noble moment where it's like literally like, I kill you, but you're under my protection too. So let's go on to the categories. Aesthetics. Really interesting aesthetics. I'm really glad Neil picked this for uh, this one purpose of nothing else. They actually mixed what looks like CG. Maybe they're just that good drawing. I, I, I can't tell anymore. But it looks like CG mixed in with the cell animation. And um, so like a lot of the car stuff is in 3D and there's actually interactions between the cells and Karis when uh, it's walking around and it's slicing things and, and all that. So it looks really good. It looks really crisp in the cell stuff and really polished up in the 3D. And it's, if, I don't know if you've ever seen Geiger, but it looks kind of like that, which the same principle is essentially like a zooped up Power Ranger with a sword. Really always kind of like that sort of thing. And this is another one of those. I can't say I really like the way the demons look. There's no consistency. It's really random. I don't know what any of it is, and I don't know what to call anybody because we don't really get like a discussion of the demon side of things. We're just kind of looking at it from the human side and occasionally the car side. But um, aesthetics gets a 90. Character development. Look, when you have action stuff, you go good guy, good guy, bad guy, bad guy, and middle people, middle people. Maybe good guy. Anime likes to mix it up a little bit more than that because you have people that are sometimes play each fence and they change political alliance. But this, the first three episodes really keep you guessing about like kind of who, what is, and why things are happening and just what, what is this? And then the last three kind of answer a lot of questions. Kind of when you're at your breaking point, they start answering things. I'm still really unclear why some of the guys did what they did. Like why protecting the city after so long just kind of drives you into super villain mode. Why the demon brothers would go back and help the road cars. I just don't understand some of it. But it was cool. Uh, it was really neat to kind of see that. And no explanation of why city or done city by city or why the female cars was even in the city. It doesn't make any sense. 
But the character development that was there was pretty solid, even if it took a little bit to get there. Character development gets a 65. Storyline. Now maybe I have issues with the demons that were used. I like demons. Demons are fun. They're very variant, so you can have a lot of flexibility in them. But is this really what it is? It kind of reminds me of a Guyver meets Batman, almost. Like, almost kind of like a shitty version of Iron Man, really. Uh, dealing with demons it's it's there's so many things you can liken it to but I don't know it doesn't really feel like anything really matches up I don't really get into it the story didn't draw me and maybe it's because of how it's told too because it does feel like it's kind of told out of order you, you don't get the idea about the the main bad guy till almost the end you don't the main good guy you kind of He's just kind of there without any questions. We're following this rogue demon around for a while, uh, and then he kind of flits out of the picture. It's it's hard to commit to anything and really get behind it. Storyline gets a 75. Compulsion. I've watched some unwatchable anime. This is not that by any means. You can definitely sit down and get behind this and watch it. There's nothing else. There's at least some cool action scenes for you. Sit down, enjoy it, kind of get into the mystery of what's happening, and then when it's done, it's done. I, I don't see this being a rewatch a lot, but it's definitely worth your time to sit down and watch it. It keeps you engaged, and even if you kind of sit there scratching your head for a lot of it. Compulsion gets a 70. Now if you total all that up, you get an average of 75. For my rep review, I've got to say, Chorus is worth the time to put into it, but I can't see going back and watching this one again. Uh, there's too many things out there and too many animes I'd like to experiment and then go back and watch some other ones uh, that I can't see this being one doing doing modern age sci-fi with swords things a very Japanese thing to do but hey this one does it well once again this was a review for hashtag we are movie club this week's pick was Neil go over to his channel and watch his stuff over here next week is going to be Brooks with Tokyo Godfathers it's another really good anime film, and I can't wait to see what Brooks has to say about it. Be sure to go watch their channels and go over to We Are Movie Club to stay up to date on everything that's happening. That's it for me. I'm Cameron. If you don't like me, fight me. If you want to see anything else we're up to, go ahead and click the annotations, and they'll take you to our other channels.